Border Patrol agents who were caught doing pretty disgusting things and posting abusive posts on Facebook. It was a 9500 member Customs and Border Protection Facebook group were supposed to face some consequences for what they were engaging in. But now, thanks to an update from Slate, we've learned that many of them received no consequences at all, despite a congressional investigation indicating that a lot of them should have been let go. Now, Congress did in fact investigate this matter. This was related to a ProPublica report that was released back in 2019. They gained access to a closed Facebook group with Customs and Border Patrol agents in it. And here's what the committee found. The report paints a picture of an organization rife with a violently abusive mentality toward the public, a sense of total impunity to revel in that abuse and virtually zero accountability. The agency's discipline review board found 60 cases of misconduct and ultimately recommended removal in 24 cases, but only two agents ultimately lost their jobs. Now, what did they engage in? Let's get into some of the nitty gritty, the examples that we covered way back when this was published. Well, the most high profile findings in the ProPublica report were the revelations about multiple members sharing sexually violent images of Representative Ocasio-Cortez. One of those agents who shared a doctored image of Donald Trump sexually assaulting Ocasio-Cortez was fired. But one of the other agents who did something similar did not get fired. So here's what happened in that case. The other who posted an image of a penis going through a fence and Ocasio-Cortez superimposed on the other side of the fence with a caption, lucky illegal immigrant glory hole special starring AOC, had his sanction reduced from dismissal to a 60 day vacation, essentially a suspension with back pay. Mm. Paid time off, nice, nice way to to punish a border patrol agent who posts that kind of abusive garbage. In another case, an agent was recommended for removal after he posted an internal video of CBC's CBP's tactical unit that showed a group of migrants under pursuit, including a migrant fleeing and falling off a cliff to their death, and an obscene comment about an unarmed member of Congress. The deciding official reduced the discipline to a 30 day suspension, the committee notes. There are more examples, but Cenk, why don't you jump in? Yeah, so look, the comments are so vile, it's, um, I, we, I, I hate even describing them. So, and if you just wanna criticize politicians, nobody is gonna care about that. In fact, we're gonna probably, you know, join you in criticizing politicians if you work for the government, I don't mind that at all. But if you're gonna do sexually lewd things like that, and like ha ha, you know, she's here to use her body, etc. And and we let you do that, well, what's the message we're sending? I mean, the guy got two months of vacation. He got two months of vac- free paid vacation yep. for sending that cartoon. So now, do you think the rest of the agents are gonna go, hey guys, don't do that, man. Remember, you're gonna get two weeks, two, not two weeks, two months, two months of vacation. Paid leave. Okay, yeah. if, if you do that, everybody's gonna send it. They're gonna be like, God damn it, I wish I had totally degraded that person. Degrading women is rewarded here at Custom Borders and Patrol. Yeah. God knows what they do to the female immigrants. God knows what they do. Well, we do know what they do. Yeah. There have been, um, actual cases of rape, sexual assault committed by border patrol agents. And now we know clearly that they can get away with quite a bit. So doesn't surprise me that those instances have happened in the past, have been reported on. But I also wanna talk about what was also posted about migrants, including migrant children on this page. One agent hypothesized that a photo of a drowned father and his 23 month old daughter had been doctored by Democratic operatives, describing the dead child and his father as floaters. The officer had previously been disciplined on three separate occasions for inappropriate comments on MySpace, for having lost property and for making sexually inappropriate gestures to a fellow border patrol agent. So he had done all those things prior to the posts on this closed Facebook page. And he's still a border patrol agent. 
So is it shocking that there's this culture of just this toxic culture overall? And remember, we're talking about people who are supposed to be dealing with, who are supposed to be enforcing and carrying out our laws at the border. Clearly, they see migrants as subhuman. They don't think that they should be treated as humans at all. Which is probably why under you know Trump's leadership, literally dozens of migrants died in US custody, including children. The officer, by the way, was recommended for dismissal, but retired before he could face discipline, receiving his full retirement package, including disability annuity, social security benefits, and other payments from qualified federal retirement plans. The agent faced no discipline for misconduct on the Facebook page. So he's been doing it for so long, some of the postings were on MySpace. Yeah. So, but nope. Uh, and guys, that goes to the mindset. So all the cartoons, all the terrible comments goes to the mindset of they pass that stuff around because they think they're like minded. So if you are in a, uh, in a group, for example, with a lot of African Americans, would you pass around a cartoon that was obviously racist? Unlikely because you know you'd get pushed back and people wouldn't appreciate it, right? So when they pass around cartoons of migrants being killed and their babies dying and, uh, and they call them floaters and stuff and they all laugh, it is apparently really well received. Yep. And then when outsiders say, hey, you know what guys, maybe you're not supposed to enjoy the deaths of the migrants. Maybe you're supposed to you know, do your job and protect everybody's life, lives, our citizens lives, yes, you're the border patrol, but also the migrants lives and just be a decent human being. They go, no, no, we vote no. I mean, look at the, the numbers Anna gave you earlier, 60 cases that were referred as you must do something about this is outrageous. 24 cases are so bad they should be fired, only two people were fired. So that's the custom and border patrol saying, no, we're not gonna change our culture at all. And in fact, we're gonna give some of these guys paid vacations just to let people know, wink, wink. Don't worry, abuse the migrants any way you like. Hate women, hate Latinos, minorities, we love it. This is a deeply racist right wing organizations and we're gonna let you get away with anything you want. Well, and the by the way, yeah, so that happened under Trump, Anna, right? Yeah. But this is now Biden's time, is he changing it? Nope. No problem with it at all. The only thing we've seen from Biden is a continuation of Trump era immigration policies, which were vicious and brutal. And of course, it's the exact opposite of what Biden campaigned on. He claimed that he was the decent person. He believed in treating people with respect and dignity. We're not seeing that at all at the border. And is he getting any cookies from the Republican Party, considering the fact that he's just continuing with Trump era immigration policies? Of course not. They're lying and saying that Biden has an open border policy. So what is he doing? I mean, Biden in so many ways has been a complete and utter disappointment with one exception and that was pulling troops out of Afghanistan. Something that he was actually forced to do because Trump already got the ball rolling on that. But other than that, what has Biden done to really reverse the toxicity of the Trump administration? Nothing. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.